While most railroads were building tracks on solid, dry ground, the railroads of Cape May County in New Jersey were building on the sandy beaches off the Atlantic Ocean. In 1879, the Delaware Bay and Cape May Railroad began operating a standard gauge line from Alexander Avenue near a steamboat landing southeast along the beach to downtown Cape May. In 1880, the Cape May and Sewell Point Railroad began operating from downtown, heading east along the boardwalk and Beach Avenue to a pier at Sewell's Point. They moved passengers utilizing small steam locomotives and wooden passenger cars, and eventually electric inner urban cars in the 1890s. These small railroads neighbored each other and had connections to the West Jersey and Seashore Railroad that ran north to Camden, along with the Atlantic City Railroad. Passengers could arrive into Cape May by the main line railroads and visit the beach, restaurants, cottages, and stay in the several hotels offering scenic views and vacation opportunities. Around 1901, both inner urban lines were merged to create the Cape May, Delaware, and Sewell Point Railroad. Trackage was also slightly expanded. While this was preferable over steamships or horse and buggy, things weren't all sunny on the shores of Cape May County. The trolleys connected to mainline trains with varying degrees of success, and adverse weather often hindered the beach-going railroad tracks. During storms, tracks often washed out and high tides flooded the line, resulting in frequent repairs. Nor'easter storms also just made traveling tough in general. Despite this, in 1905, the Cape May Sand Company began operations at modern-day Sunset Beach, with wooden trestles elevating the Sand Company's railroad tracks. Sand was dredged, washed, and loaded into rail cars for further transport to the north for use in glass and construction. During World War I, the area also served as a munitions testing site. Meanwhile, interurban passenger service was discontinued in October 1916. Sand mining would also cease in 1936 over concerns of sand depletion along the beaches. The tracks running alongside the beach would then be abandoned. The site would then be converted for use as a magnesite plant in 1941. A spur line was built off the former Atlantic City Railroad, now known as the Pennsylvania Reading Seashore Line, to serve the plant. Bricks produced at the plant were loaded on trains and shipped north. The PRSL would continue serving the city until 1966. Excursion service through Cape May seashore lines began in 1999, but ultimately ceased in 2012 due to large amounts of vandalism. But what about the railroad tracks left near the beach? After the Magnesite plant closed in 1982, the now Conrail-owned track was ripped up except for some pieces left on the shore. First rediscovered in 2014 along Sunset Beach, the tracks to the sand mine and munitions testing location hadn't been seen for a good few decades, having been buried under the sand. Though, when the sand naturally moves, especially after a storm, the over-century-old tracks reveal themselves still somewhat intact. People now come out to see the tracks for themselves whenever they're visible. As a result, it's brought some more attention to the Cape May County region, and also tells of a rather obscure piece of railroading history. I usually don't talk during the credits, but researching this topic was a bit tricky with limited information and pictures, some sources giving me mixed up or contradicting information like dates, railroad names, and the like, so I apologize if anything here is incorrect. I tried my best, but just be aware of that. Regardless though, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.